one of my basic messages to you is never exploit love and that will be a great religious revolution in your life never exploit love if somebody loves you don't bring any conditions to it if you love somebody don't make him a cripple let your love become spacious give more space to the person than he had when he was alone give him nourishment but don't poison his nourishment don't possess him let him be free more free than he ever was and then love grows into deep intimacy when love brings freedom then love goes deepest when love makes the other feel respected not humiliated not destroyed but enhanced when love feels nourishing liberating then love goes deepest then love becomes prayer it becomes the utmost the ultimate experience of life love not only is the hope of the world but the only hope man has lived up to now an absolutely love less life all the societies and the cultures and the religions that have existed on the earth have talked about love but lived a very loveless existence much talk about love has happened in the past but the structure that societies have created is basically against love the society is geared for war and a society that is geared for war can only talk about love but cannot live it we have come now to the peak of this ugly stupid structure of hatred we have come to the point where either man is to change totally or will have to die the new man can be born only with a new heart with a new soul and the flavor of that soul will be love and the poetry of that heart will be love a society that lives lovelessly is competitive ambitious obsessed with money power prestige